Hey everyone, so Steam just released version 3.7 of their operating system, SteamOS. Now this one brings a lot more support for other portable handheld computers that are not the Steam Deck. So for instance, your ROG allies, your Lenovo Legion goals. What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna install it on a computer that has an AMD graphics card. Unfortunately at the time, if you have an NVIDIA card, you really can't try this out. It's not set up for that yet, but we're going to go ahead and install it on my secondary computer as I have a spare hard drive already set up for it. Let's head over to Steam's website so that we can download the operating system. I'll leave it linked below. We'll go to the general FAQ and we'll click here to download it. What we're going to do is click on reimage or install SteamOS. What it's going to do is Give us this link here that's going to allow us to download the recovery image. Agree and download that deck image. Place it wherever you're going to store it. While that's downloading, we'll head back. And here it says prepare a USB key. If you're on Windows, you could use something like Rufus. If you're on Mac OS or Linux, you could use something like Belina Extra. After you've gone ahead and set up the disk image on a USB stick, we'll then head over to the desktop. Okay, so once I went ahead and made the disk image, I went ahead and plugged it into my computer, turned my computer on and mashed the delete button until I got into the BIOS. Now I'm in the boot override section and we have three options here with the UEFI P map. I'm gonna go ahead and pick partition one. Let the letters scroll until you see something you can interact with. So once you reach the desktop, and I'm not gonna lie, this took me a long time, but once you get here, want to go to wipe device and install steam os now just as a general warning it does not let you select which disk you're going to install it to so make sure that the one disk you want to install it to is the one that's installed in your system if you have a different disk that you don't want it installed to pull that out of your system because it will be overwritten now once all of that is done and you have rebooted your system we are at the steam os welcome menu here we're going to select our language so i'm going to go ahead and select english then select your time zone. Next, you want to set up your network. So if you're using Wi-Fi or if you're using a wired connection, use it here. I have a wired connection, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that. And it's going to start updating our system. After it's done updating, it's going to restart. And now that it's updated, I'll go ahead and log in. Welcome to the Steam Deck. Press any button or tap. And at this point, this is probably a good time to plug in a controller. I just went ahead and plugged in an Xbox One S controller. You'll be given directions as to how to navigate. So on the bottom left side, this is the Steam button. So that will be our Xbox button. This is the quick access button. And I believe this is a combination of the Xbox button and the A button. Then up top is the power button. And these are touch buttons here is what we're looking at. If you were on a Steam Deck, this is how you would navigate. And let's look around here. I see a warning up here. We do have more updates to do. So one thing we always want to do is keep our things up to date. I'll go ahead and apply the update. I'm going to restart once more. Now that we're back, we'll go ahead and select some games to play. Okay, so while I was looking for games to install, I thought it would be helpful to also mention this. We see all the games that I have here. Also, you can see the SteamOS compatible games here. These are games that are certified by Valve that will work on Steam OS. I thought that this may be pretty useful. All right, so with a few games downloaded, I'll go ahead and show some games that aren't really shown off in these videos. We're gonna start with Dead by Daylight. A quick note, I have these games locked at 60 FPS, so I picked the best graphics settings to help them achieve that with this setup. The reason I went with 60 FPS is because this is connected to my television. So I want the console like experience and doing it this way will give us the best performance.
on the menu. This will be a good fight. Round one. Fight. So now that we're done gaming on Steam, we do have some other games that we could add to this experience. So the one thing you want to do is navigate away from Steam. You hit the menu, go to power, and we're going to switch to the desktop. So we all know that Steam isn't the only place where we get our games. So let's head over into our Discover store and then let's add two extra applications. The first one is Lutris. This is going to allow us to add games that are not from Steam. Go ahead and install that. While that's going on, the next one we'll look for is Heroic Games Launcher. And let's go ahead and install that as well. As you can see, Heroic is going to let us play games from Epic, GOG, and our Amazon Games accounts. While Lutris will let us play all the other games from everywhere else. That would be anywhere from Ubisoft Games Launcher to Rockstar, EA, and even games you find on the shore somewhere. With Heroic, we're gonna wanna log into one of our services, but the first thing I'm gonna do is head over to our wine manager and just get this first one, GE Proton Latest. While that's going on, we're gonna go ahead and log in. 
we're gonna use our Epic Games login. Now that I'm logged into my account, I can go ahead and add any other game. When installing and selecting our wine version, I wanna make sure I'm on Proton GE latest. Okay, so once our game is downloaded, we'll head back over into our library. I'm gonna click on the game once. What I'm gonna do from here is head over to this three dot menu on the top right hand side. And I'm gonna go ahead and add to Steam. Head over to our desktop, return to game mode. Back in game mode, and head over to our Steam menu, go to our library, click on non Steam. Now, as you can see from the non Steam menu, we have Ghost Runner. Go ahead and click it and play it. So, here we have the game running. This is especially good because now we still have all the access to the uh, Steam menu here. And we can change our overlay. Running the game through Steam lets us run the game through GameScope. All right, so as you can see, we have a game that we downloaded with Heroic Games Launcher running in Steam using the GameScope compositor. This is uh, exactly what we want out of a home theater style console like system. Again, this is the same kind of result you would get if you use something like Bazite or Nobara. And even still on any Linux distro, you can just use big picture mode. So the next step we'll do is we'll install a game with Lutris and I'll show you the same steps there to get your game integrated into Steam. We'll head over to games and we'll click on Lutris. It's initializing a bunch of things here on the left, so we'll just wait for that to be done. Let's head over to updates and let's download WineGE 8-26. This is not the Wine version we're going to use. It's actually going to download a version that we're actually going to use. It's just confusing at the moment. I do have a video for using Lutris that I will be linking up right here. It will also be linked down below. That one goes more in depth in how to use Lutris. Now, once that's downloaded, we'll head over to Runners and find Wine. Change this to GE Proton Latest. Close this. Let's add a game. Okay, so now that we have our game set up, what I'm gonna do is add it to Steam. We'll right click the game, head down to create Steam shortcut. And that's it. Let's close this, head back into game mode. Under non Steam, we have Hoya Play. Click on that, hit play. Click on start game and we should be right into Zenless Zone Zero. All right, so there you have it. We have Steam OS set up on our computer. We also went ahead and added a game from our Epic Games library. And I also added Hoyo Play through Lutris. Both are integrated into our Steam menu. We also have desktop mode. Now it is limited in the applications that you can use because it uses mostly flat pack applications from the Discover Store. Now understand that this is Steam OS. It's very limited in other features that a more full fledged Linux desktop will provide your computer. This when it's further refined will be the best choice for a console like experience at home. Now, while I've gone ahead and installed it, tested it and showed you what it can do, would I go ahead and recommend this? And I would say not yet. The reason being is pretty obvious. You're going to need an AMD card to do this. And most gamers right now are using Nvidia. Your best bid is to use something like Bazite or Nobara. Those come with Nvidia drivers out the box. But for those of you out there with those handheld PCs, 
this is probably the best way to get that Steam Deck experience without having to get a Steam Deck. I'll probably have a follow-up video using something like Bazai or Nobara, which is more friendlier to the Nvidia and Intel cards. So if you guys like what we saw here today, make sure you give the video a like. Subscribe for more informational, educational content like this. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.